Um, subtraction can be kind of a tricky beast, especially when there's a lot of borrowing going on. It can get a little messy. So sometimes that can cause us to get a little confused and that's okay, it happens all the time. So we're gonna do a couple of problems together and then I'm gonna have you guys practice some more problems and we'll see where we are from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one with you. I've noticed that some people are starting from the right side. They're trying to do all their borrowing up here and then go and then start from the right side with subtracting. We don't need to do that. Let's not do that because that'll get us mixed up. I want you to start all the way on the right side and take things as they go. So borrow as you go. Don't just think, oh, I need to borrow here, borrow here, borrow here, because you don't know until you get there. You might think, oh, I'm gonna have to borrow here and then not need to, or not think you're gonna have to borrow somewhere and then end up needing to. So we've got two take away one right here in the ones place, which gives us one. No borrowing needed there. Five take away nine. Well, I can't take nine things away from five things, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna borrow, and I'm gonna turn that seven into a six, and I'm gonna turn this five into a 15. Most of you seem to have this part down. So 15 take away nine is gonna give us six. Now I can do six take away four, which is gonna give us two. Now I have two take away three. I can't do that, so I have to go over here and I have to borrow and turn this into a 12. 12 take away three is gonna give me nine. Three take away two is gonna give me one. And I have 19,261. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and try another one. All right, let's do 403,720, and we're gonna take away 272,492. So let's go ahead, and we have a zero here. So we have zero take away two. We can't do that. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna borrow from here, turn that into a one, turn that into a 10. Okay, so that's gonna jump straight to a 10. 10 take away two is gonna give me eight, one take away nine, I cannot do that. So I have to come over here, borrow, turn that into a six, turn that into an 11. 11 take away nine gives me two. Six take away four gives me two. Three take away two gives me one. Zero take away seven, I can't do that. So I'm gonna come over here, turn that into a three, turn that into a 10. 10 take away seven gives me three. Three take away two gives me one and I get 131,228, okay? So when you're borrowing to take care of a zero, it automatically is gonna turn into a 10. All right, let's try this one. Okay, 420,073 take away 343,391. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with three take away one, which is gonna give us two. Now I have seven take away nine. That can't work, so I have to borrow. I can't borrow from here and I can't borrow from here, okay? So I have to go all the way over here. So I'm gonna go to this two. I'm gonna take a 10. I cannot go all the way straight over here and turn that into a 17. I can't do that. I have to give it to this one first. This one has to turn into a 10, okay? But after this one turns into a 10, this one still needs something so that the seven can get something. So this 10 is gonna turn into a nine. This is gonna turn into a 10, okay? This 10 is gonna turn into a nine because it needs to give this seven something. So it's gonna turn into a 17. So let's go through that again. Couldn't do seven take away nine. 
So I came all the way over here to borrow because these two were zeros, turned that into a one, gave that a 10, took a one, took a one away from it so this could be a 10, took one away from it so this could be a 17. 17 take away nine gives me eight. Nine take away three gives me six. Nine take away three gives me six. One take away four, I can't do that. So I'm gonna turn that four into a three. This is 11, take away four, which gives me seven. Three take away three is zero. I have 76,682, okay? One more and then I'm gonna have you do a couple on your own. Five hundred thousand take away three hundred forty two one hundred fifty sorry three hundred forty two thousand one hundred fifty six. So let's go ahead and tackle this one. Here's how we're gonna do it. Zero take away six. We can't do that. And there's zeros all the way until over here. So we have to go all the way to this five, turn it into a four. Then we're gonna go ten. Okay, that needs to give this one ten. That needs to give the next zero one. That needs to give the next zero one. That needs to give the next zero one. This one can stay a 10 though because there's nothing to give after this, okay? So these ones all had to become 10s and then turned into nines to help the next zero, to help the next zero, to help the next zero, okay? So now we can subtract. 10 take away six gives me four. Nine take away five gives me four. Nine take away one gives me eight. Nine take away two, seven. Nine take away four is five. And four take away three is one. 157,844. So I had to go all the way over there, turning my tens into nines, tens into nines, and going from there. All right, I'm gonna have you practice three problems with me and then I'll let you work on your own. So let's go ahead and do All right. So let's go ahead and do 605,815 Take away 354,214. Go ahead and give that a go. All right. Five take away four is one. One take away one is zero. Eight take away six is two. Five take away four is one. So far, this has been pretty easy. Okay, oh, there's the zero. So we're gonna come over here, borrow, turn that into a five, that into a 10. 10 take away five is five. Five take away three is two. 251,601. All right, next one. Let's do this. All right, 740,043, take away 615,952. Give that one a go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Three take away two gives me one. Four take away five, not gonna happen. Nothing to borrow from here, nothing to borrow from here. Going over here. Four turns into a three. This turns into a 10. This has to turn into a nine though, because this needs a 10. And this 10 has to turn into a 9 because this 4 needs to become a 14. Now we can do 14 take away 5 is 9. 9 take away 9 is 0. 9 take away 5 is 4. 3 take away 1 is 2. And 7 take away 6 is 1. 124,091. All right, last problem. Let's go ahead and do... 700,000, take away 525,432. All right, 700,000, take away 525,432. Give her a whirl. 
All right. Got to go all the way to the seven here because there is nothing to borrow from. And we can't take two away from zero. So that turns into a six, which turns into a 10, which turns into a nine. 10, nine, 10, nine, 10, nine, 10. So the reason why we did that was because we had to give to the next zero every time. Okay. 10 take away two is eight. Nine take away three is six. Nine take away four is five. Nine take away five is four. Nine take away two is seven. Six take away five is one. 174,568. I hope this video helped you get a better understanding of subtraction and I hope you um, have fun doing your practice.